Hello, my loves. I hope everybody is safe, happy, healthy, and doing well. So let's see what we have here for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Um, so we are going to start with some channeled messages. Um, then we're going to do some Oracle, and then we're going to get into the actual reading, okay? So, Sag, what I got for you is kind of interesting, because I feel here that someone got hurt okay someone got hurt and they were not willing to express their love or wear their heart on their sleeve okay someone here wanted to make it appear that emotionally they didn't care anymore okay um and that worked well for a while because i feel like someone here maybe was receiving attention text messages gifts maybe it worked well okay problem is it's not working anymore okay that love isn't coming in anymore and now someone is left mourning the situation okay mourning the situation um because there is in fact love there it's just that someone didn't want to you know what i'm saying put that you know they didn't want to wear their heart on their sleeve okay they wanted to you know keep their heart in a cage type of thing okay so let's see what we have here for or for the for oracle i'm seeing um gray clouds it might be overcast whoever's looking at this maybe um you know looking out at the sky and it's very overcast or someone may just be in a dark mood maybe that might be symbolic for being in a dark mood i'm seeing mountains not just mountains i'm seeing like a almost like a I'm seeing like water and then mountains and in the water there's like rocks like maybe like a, a creek or something and then a mountain okay clarity guidance love messages clarity guidance love messages someone might own a white horse a white horse with blonde, a blonde mane Clarity, guidance, love messages for my Sagittarians. Don't let your past hold you back. Meditate and contemplate. Okay, so Sag, I feel like someone here is now becoming sad because, you know, the person that they wanted to let go of has ceased chasing, okay? So I feel, Sag, this is now your opportunity to move forward, right? And, and you know, start a new life for yourself. You know, obviously, if you were hurt by this person, you intended to move on. But now that it's really over, it's like sinking in, right? Um, with meditate and contemplate, I feel like spirit is asking you to be reminded of the bad times. Because at times, what happens is in moments like these, we tend to look at the good times and miss the person and regret, you know, maybe be like, oh, you know, should I have done this? was it the right decision right we tend to go down that path and i feel like spirit is asking you to really meditate on this think about you know um the bad times think about why you know this whole thing is happening to begin with right okay so let's go ahead let's see here clarity guidance love messages for my beautiful sagittarians clarity guidance love messages for my sagittarians please okay so we've got yin and yang, woman holding a coin, and appreciation. Sag, I feel like whoever's in this is in this position wants to be in a relationship where there's a strong soul tie. Someone here is looking for their perfect counterpart. They're looking for, you know, a power couple status dynamic, somebody loyal, someone committed to the connection here. Um, yeah, and I feel, Sag, someone is walking away to find that, to find uh, a connection where they're appreciated and loved, you know. Let's see here. Clarity, guidance, love messages for my Sagittarians, please. Clarity, guidance, love messages for my Sagittarians, please. Clarity, guidance, love messages for my Sagittarians, please. Clarity, guidance, love messages. Oh, oh, oh. 
Okay. So, Sag, I feel like there's one message here of um, maybe it would be a good idea to speak to a therapist or to, you know, um, speak to somebody in regards to releasing what you need to release. But ultimately here, Sag, we've got peace and happy success. So, Sag, this is not, you didn't necessarily make a bad decision here. You know what I'm saying? Your intent and your focus is to find a relationship where there's commitment, equal give and take, um, you know, to be appreciated for who you are. And I feel like you're going to be successful in doing so. I feel like you're going to find peace. But your past is holding you back a little bit here. There's a sense of maybe mourning the connection. Like maybe you didn't think about it until this person was chasing. But now that things have gone quiet, there may be a sense of sadness. Tell me about Sagittarius, please. Tell me about Sagittarius, please. Okay, so we've got looking at your photos, missing you, nostalgia, and make new memories. Okay. We've got karmic relationship in the reverse, fleeting triggers, turmoil, resentment, lessons, letting go, loving you. So I feel like, you know, you may have released a karmic here, Sag, okay? Hand of cards, take a chance, risk being strategic options, not showing hands, and gambling. So, Sag, it's hard. Doing what you did is hard. Um, but you released this karmic even though you miss them. And you want to take a chance on something else here, okay? With the sword and the rose here, clarity, truth, revelation, solidarity. I feel like you're seeing the truth of the matter. That something here has truly ended and it's time to start a new beginning. Um, the concept of change can be sad for anybody. Okay, and I feel like there is a sense of grieving and mourning, heartbroken, deeply hurt, sad, separation, breakup, feeling lost, grieving and mourning. Um, so, Sag, there's just, there's change, you know, there's massive change and change is never easy, Sag. It's never easy. I feel like you have beautiful things coming towards you. You know what I'm saying? I feel like you've got beautiful things coming towards you, um, but you may not be seeing that right now because you're heartbroken, you know? Tell me about Sagittarius, please. Tell me about Sagittarius, please. Tell me about Sagittarius, please. Tell me about Sagittarius. Okay. So we've got let go of control issues and allow the situation to unfold naturally. We've got flirt, extend your lighthearted energy to others. We've got very soon, clearly decide what you want so it comes to you now. We've got let your friends help you, free yourself, playfulness, and you deserve love with free your ex underneath and healing. Okay. So Sag, I feel like there is a sense of needing to let go. Okay. Um, I feel like you're going to make the decision fairly soon to start talking to new people to maybe, you know, asking your friends, if you guys can go out, have a good time, get your mind off of things. You're in the process of freeing yourself. Okay. You deserve love and release your ex and healing. Sag, this is going to call for releasing the, the past self healing and knowing that you deserve better. Okay. Sag, it's just that simple. I know I deserve better. End of discussion. I'm trying to quit smoking, guys. Bear with me. These things are awesome. They're called Esco bars, by the way. They're, like, awesome. Okay, moving on. Let's see here. Clarity, guidance, love messages for my beautiful Sagittarians, please, Spirit. What messages do we have here? Or Sag, please. Clarity, guidance, the love messages for my Sagittarians, please. Clarity. Okay. So, we've got the Lover's card, Gemini energy. We have the Hermit, Virgo energy. We've got the Emperor in the reverse, Aries, Taurus energy. And we have the Seven of Swords. Under the deck is the Three of Swords. Okay. So, Sag, what I'm feeling here is with the Lover's card and the Hermit, you know, the Lover's card can talk about a very strong soul tie, which you may have felt with this person because there is a karmic soul tie connection there, okay? Um, 
so you're looking at this connection you're taking some time to yourself you're analyzing it you're thinking about it you're realizing that you know because the lovers card can indicate having to choose or make a decision um you're seeing the the painful truth of this person okay with the emperor in the reverse this is someone very unstable very mean very jealous very controlling um and with the seven of swords and the three of swords this could be someone non-committal someone here that was cheating on you talking bad behind your back doing sneaky crap behind your back stealing from you i don't know you know what i'm saying this person was definitely causing you a tremendous amount of pain Spirit, tell me about the lover's card here. Tell me about the lover's card here for Sag. Tell me about the lover's card here for Sag. We've got the two of swords. It is going to be a difficult decision, Sag. Tell me about the hermit and the ace of swords in the reverse. It's time to really analyze the situation and see the truth, Sag. I feel like you have not wanted to acknowledge the truth about this person. Um, but with the devil card, this person is chained to very nasty behavior. Okay, they may have a drug addiction, a drinking addiction, a gambling addiction, a spending addiction, an ego addiction, narcissism, mental illness, who knows, okay, but they're chained to something very negative. They're chained to something very negative. Tell me about the emperor in the reverse, page of swords in the reverse. Sag, this person may be stalking you. Okay, with the five of cups here, um, I feel like there is a lot of sorrow you may even be stalking this person um or it could be an energy here of finding out information finding out you know digging for that information and finding out that this person is not who they said they were and then you know there's that feeling of mourning and, and pain tell me about the seven of swords eight of wands in the reverse Sag, I feel here that everything that you wanted to happen with this person, the future that you envisioned with this person has just simply come to an end, okay? Eight of Wands in the reverse, you don't want to talk to this person, you don't want to move forward with this person. With the Seven of Swords, you can't believe anything they say. You literally just can't believe anything that this person tells you. Clarity, guidance, love messages for Sag, please. Clarity, guidance, love messages for Sag, please. Clarity, guidance, love messages for Sag. So we have the Knight of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo energy. We have the Page of Wands. Clarity, guidance. We've got the Queen of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo energy, and then we've got the Knight of Wands, Leo, Sag, Aries energy. Under the deck, we've got the King of Wands, uh, more Leo, Sag, Aries energy. Okay, so Sag, the person on this side, I feel... They are very consistent in a way okay they are very consistent and with the queen of pentacles this person can be very nurturing they can appear to be very loyal and and there but with the page of wands and the knight of wands and you see in this particular deck i find it funny that with the page of wands there's a fox there and you know foxes can be very cunning right very tricky um the page of wands is a representation of sometimes people that, you know, like to flirt, people that don't always mean what they say. They say things in the heat of the moment. And with the knight of wands, it's like one minute this person is all about the connection and the next minute they're out partying, doing whatever they want to do, hitting up other people, okay? And I feel here, Sag, King of Wands, Ten of Cups, Two of Pentacles, the Hanged Man, the Three of Wands, the Queen of Swords, and the Star, okay? I feel like what we're dealing with here is that we have one minute someone is love bombing so intent and confident that they want forever with you and then the next minute they're not sure what they want they leave you on hold and they procrastinate and then with the three of wands the queen of swords and the star they they kind of 
block themselves or shut themselves off to go see if there's anything out there that they may want with the ace of wands Do you understand so it's like you're dealing with two different people in one like you might be dealing with someone here that's just I, i'm i feel a little bit of narcissism here a lot of like gaslighting and love bombing type of type of energy tell me about the knight of pentacles here for sag temperance in the reverse Tell me about the Queen of Pentacles for Sag and the star, Aquarian energy. So again, Sag, this person comes forward with this very like, you know, I'm not going to stop. I'm going to chip away at you until you give in. They give you a lot of hope that they're stable, that they're committed. But the problem is with temperance in the reverse, this person doesn't have the patience. They don't have the patience to really do what it takes to get you to trust them again. Tell me about the page of wands here for Sag. Knight of Swords in the reverse. All of a sudden, they stop communicating. Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, Energy, and the Three of Wands, they stop looking for you. Do you understand what I'm saying? It's like they go from being so zoned in on you to, you know, it just stops. And I feel here that with the three of swords, you know, you know that this person here that claimed to want you so much and all this other stuff is probably out partying with other people. Do you understand? And that the three of pentacles and the seven of cups, this apology and that this offer to work on the connection is just an illusion. Do you understand? So they come in and they almost are able to hook you in, but then their true colors show. So like you talk to this person at two o'clock in the afternoon and they really want to work things out and everything else. And then you find out by nine o'clock that they're at a party freaking, you know what I'm saying? Making out with somebody, right? It's, you know, crazy. Tell me about the Knight of Wands for Sag. So we've got the Unknown card and the Nine of Swords in the reverse. You don't know what this person's up to, and honestly, you don't care. Or you're never going to know what this person's up to, and they just don't, they don't worry like that. Do you see what I'm saying? This person runs hot, they run cold, and that's why with the Five of Pentacles in the World card and the Judgment card here, a final decision's being made to just end this. Because it's too hot, too, hot, cold, hot, cold. The challenge here, King of Pentacles, the Four of Pentacles... The two of wands and the five of cups. So the challenge is you're dealing with somebody here that wants stability. They want a relationship. But with the four of pentacles, this person is super greedy. They're very selfish. Okay. I feel like this person with the two of wands and the five of cups, um, <coughs> They choose other people and other situations over you, and then they want to come in and say that they're sorry. Do you see what I'm saying? They want a, a successful marriage or a successful commitment. They want it, but they also want their cake and they want to eat it too. This is someone who's very selfish. This is someone who does want a relationship, but they want to do whatever they want to do. Tell me about the outcome here for Sag. Yeah, Wheel of Fortune, the Queen of Wands. There you are, Sag and the nine of wands and now the tables are turning on this person Sag, because you're done you're tired you're fed up with the four of cups here and the hierophant this person can promise you forever and you still don't want it you're still in this energy of um the eight of swords and the seven of cups and the ace of swords you just know that everything that this person says is an illusion Okay, you know that everything they say is an illusion. Another thing I'm seeing here with the challenge is that, Sag, this person wants a commitment, but they're very selfish. So you have to make a choice that is going to hurt. Okay, you have to make the choice to end this with this person, even if it means <coughs> sadness, crying, mourning. You know, like I said, change is never easy. Change is never easy, Sag. Um, but you're making a decision that's going to lead you to something a lot better. Okay. All right, guys, I love you so much and take care.